A conditional disable structure is pretty unique in LabVIEW. It can be found under structures and right here. And drag this out to be whatever size. So this is a unique structure where if you have a code that you executed and you want to run it on Windows, Linux, or like an FPGA or anything like that, this is what you could use to run that multiple program on multiple devices. So we can edit this by right clicking and we can do add sub diagram after or before and then this little window pops up. So here's where we can say the target type, the target bitness which is like 64 bit or 32 bit or uh, a runtime engine which is something we can talk about later and then we can select you know does it equal or not equal that and then whatever the value is. So this doesn't have a drop down so sometimes if I forget what to type I'll just hit some random keys and I'll hit OK and it comes up with this error. And it'll tell me right here the values pretty much are Windows, Mac, Unix, FPGA, RT, Pocket PC and some other ones. Um, I don't even know what some of these are. I, I don't ever use this because um, we typically only really use Windows. So I never really run into this stuff. But this is just something to you know keep in mind if you need to uh, use any of these. And then you can also add more. So you can have a, an AND and an OR statement. So if you want your target type to be a Mac and you know you also want it to be uh, let's just, just say, uh, and s same thing for this, we can type in a random keys and uh, let's, let's put that back in Mac. We'll hit OK and it'll tell us right there we need a 32 or 64 and that is the operating system. So codes that would run this would be something that'd be specific to like Mac or Windows. So like if you had a, a, a code that just added some numbers together that's not really going to affect you know e either it run on a Mac or window or whatever but if you had a, a function that was you know saving files where Mac's file format saving is different than what Windows is so this would be an example where if you're saving specific files and you'd need a Mac or and you'd need a Mac or Windows you would just you know select this so I'll get rid of that we'll hit OK and so is this type Mac this code will run here and we can add another sub diagram and we can say or this is Windows and then this code will run so run Windows code and then run Mac code Default state is if neither of these states are hit. So if like um, one of the other, like FPGA, that would run here. And then there's our Mac setup, and here's our Windows setup. So when we would execute this code, um, build the executable file and put it on the computers, it will select what version of computer it's on, and it'll run them. So I hope this was helpful, and stay tuned for more.